So this topic is combining like terms. Now, like terms have the same variable parts, and that word variable is very important. It'll come back to us. So to have like terms, they need to have the same letters, and those letters have to have the same exponents for each term. So let's take a look at some and decide whether they are like terms or not. So if you get 3x plus 5x, your first job would be to say, are these like terms? And you would say, hmm, well, they have the same letters, and those letters have the same exponents. In this case, it's just one on each. So these are like terms. Now, if I gave you 4x squared minus 1 half x, are those like terms or not? What do you think? Okay. So, here we have an x. We also have x's here. But, we have to have the same exponents. Here we have x squared. Here we just have x. So these are not like terms, and they won't be able to be combined. So we say no. What about negative 5a squared b squared minus 6a squared b squared? Are these like terms? Do we have the same variables? What about the same exponents? Both of these terms have a and b, and they both have specifically an a squared and a b squared, a squared and a b squared. So these are like terms, and they can be combined. So we say yes. So now let's actually do some combining of like terms. Now the first one we're going to look at is 8a plus 4a plus 4a. You'd first say, how many like terms do we have? All of these terms have a in it, so they are all like terms. So what we're going to do is combine 8a plus 4a, and that's going to be 8 plus 4, which is 12, and we keep our a. Now we're going to add that to 4a. 12a plus 4a is 12 plus 4, which is 16, and don't forget our a. And this is our answer. 8a plus 4a plus 4a is 16a. Our next example is 5x plus 1 half y minus 8x plus 3 fourths y. So again we ask, are there like terms here? Are there things we can combine? In this case, the answer to our question is yes, but we can only put like terms together. So we see that the 5x is a like term with the minus 8x, and the 1 half y is a like term with 3 fourths y. So I'm going to put the 5x next to the minus 8x, and I'm going to add 1 half y to the 3 fourths y, and I get this. Now, I'm going to combine the 5x minus 8x, 5 minus 8, negative 3. So we get negative 3x. Now we remember from back in the day with our fractions, we can't add these two unless we have a common denominator. So I'm going to write this as 2 fourths y plus 3 fourths y. The 1 half becomes 2 fourths, now I can add them together. So I'm going to get negative 3x plus, now I add my numerators, 5 fourths y. We might think we can do more, but if we take a look, we see that we don't have the same variables here, and they definitely don't have the same exponents, because they're not even the same variables, so we know that we are done. This next example is going to use our distributive property, so let's remember that. Our distributive property says, if I take a and multiply it by b plus c, which is in parentheses, then I have to take a and multiply it by both b and c. So we take a times b, then we take a times c. And we don't forget that we keep the same sign in the middle. So a times b plus c is a b plus a c, and that's going to come in handy. So let's look here at this example. We've got 10 plus 2 times 4y minus 3. Now it might be tempting to add the 10 and the 2, but your order of operations says you have to do multiplication before you do addition. So that 10 is going to hang out for a minute. Then we're going to take the 2, multiply it by the 4y using our distributive property to give us 8y. And we're also going to take 2 and multiply it by a minus 3. 
and a positive times a negative is a negative. We're tempted to be done, but we're not. And that's because we see that although 8y has no like terms, 10 and minus 6 are. So let's put our 8y here to the left, plus 10 minus 6, we're going to end up 10 minus 6 is 4, and now this is all we can do, and we are done. Our next example is also going to use that distributive property. You can see that we have something in the front of it and something in the back of it, but we can't really combine anything until we deal with this piece in the middle. So what I'm going to do is use that distributive property to say that I still have my minus 3, I'm just going to bring that down, but then I need to do negative 1 half times 7n, and that's going to give me a minus 7 halves n. Now I also need to do, after that, a negative 1 half times a negative 8. And a negative times a negative, we know is a positive. And 1 half times 8 is 4, so we get this. Now I might want to combine terms, but wait, I forgot that minus n. So let's bring that back. Now, I know that I can combine minus 7 halves n minus n. So I'll put those together. I'm also going to put together the minus 3 plus 4. And once I've done that, I've got all my terms somewhere. <laughs> okay, so a good thing to notice here is that if I want to combine a 7 halves, with a minus n, I need to remember that really the coefficient in front of the n is just 1. And because of that, I'm going to write it as 2 over 2. Now that's still just 1, but it gives me a common denominator so that I can add these two together. Now a minus 7n minus 2 over 2 is going to give us a minus 9 as our numerator, 2 stays as our denominator. The minus 3 plus 4 gives us a positive 1. So you can't forget how to do those positive and negative numbers. Because we now have no more like terms, we know that we're done. And we've got one more example. Our last example looks like this. 6 times negative 3x minus 9 plus 3 times negative 2x plus 6. We've got to do a little multiplying first. So here we're going to have a negative 18x. That negative 9 is not multiplied, so it just stays. Then we're going to have 3 times negative 2x, a minus 6x. And then that distributive property also needs to carry over. 3 times 6, we get 18. Now, we say, what can we combine? Let's focus on our variables. We'll have a negative 18x, minus 6x, minus 9, plus 18. So I'm combining my constants here, my variables here. This is going to give us a minus 24x, the negative 9 plus 18, positive 9. And now we are done. So you want to remember, things to remember with this, you have to have the same exponents. And those exponents have to have the same... <laughs> so things to remember are... Same variables with the same exponents. You have to have those things to combine like terms. And also, don't forget, if you're going to add 6x plus 3x, you don't change your exponents on your variables. So just like 6 apples plus 3 apples is 9 apples, 6x plus 3x is 9x and the exponent does not change. So this was combining like terms, and good luck to you.